Hello, I'm uh, Richard Malchik, and I'm one of the consultants at R&D Tax. I'm chatting to Dr. Guido Drago, founder and chief scientist at Polygenin Limited, a high-tech startup that's recently benefited from our Giving Back program. Hi, Guido. How are you? Hi, Richard. Yes, I'm fine, thank you. Very good. Uh, could you give us an overview of Polygenin? Tell us a little bit about what your business does and how you're funding the business and, and whether R&D claims were part of this process? Yeah, so Polygenin was set up um, some years ago, um, actually initially to do uh, DNA testing, so paternity type, uh, type testing for the public. Um, and then we got into, uh, into different, different types of sort of DNA tests and assays, different assays, protein assays, um, and my expertise, I'm a, I'm a biochemist, um, and we have lots of um, expertise in stabilizing proteins. So um, there, are, as a continuation of, of, of what, the, what the company set out to do, um, we expanded into uh, protein stabilization, and then into other applications of DNA testing. And um, due to um, some previous uh, connections that we had with, with uh, Innovate Grants, um, we actually uh, linked up with another company called Agri Samplers Limited, and um, they needed our expertise in stabilizing certain assays. And hence, we've um, gone down this sort of side route of um, being involved in, in manufacturing assays for uh, detecting pathogens in plants. So um, this is our basically our, our general focus at the moment. This is what takes up most of our time um, on the on the research side. So in a nutshell, we're a small company, very specialized. We have specialized services, so DNA testing, as in paternity testing still, um, uh, pathogen testing, so developing kits and manufacturing kits for for detecting plant pathogens and doing um, consultancy and contract research for companies that need uh, stabilization of proteins for different types of assays. Gosh, that's a, that's a lot to do there. Uh, could you tell us a bit about the research and development work that you did recently? So, um, so we've, we've been involved in a previous uh, Innovate project um, called Pathoscout um uh, well no actually that's the new one uh, that the previous one was spray saver um and uh so we were um tasked to actually develop a freeze-dried um reagent set for detecting a number of of pathogens um that have to be detected in certain cereals or crops um remotely in fields um, and so we were tasked with actually bringing together the components to actually get the assay to work in the field, uh, which is quite a challenge. Um, so we spent a lot of time developing those materials. And um, at the end of that, we have a suite of, of assays that we can, um, we can actually sell to uh, farmers and, and growers that can um, actually test for these different pathogens in their crops to make sure that their, their crops are healthy. And if they're not, um, when they need to spray for, their, for, for the pathogens to make sure that, that their crops will be healthy during the, uh, the growing season and before harvest. That, that sounds massively complex. I mean, uh, you've recently done an R&D tax claim. Do you think you could have made the correct judgments for your R&D claim without advice? No. <laughs> In a short answer, no. I wouldn't have known where to start, what to do. Um, so uh, the help that I've I've had, obviously, from you guys, has been absolutely priceless. So um, you know, I wouldn't. I never would have known where to go on this. Um, I mean, I, your first point of call, of course, is your is your accountant. But of course, uh, your accountant doesn't necessarily know what to do and might not generally get it right. But um, yeah, yeah, um, yeah, working you, with you guys was was certainly an eye opener from what was required 
and um, and certainly made the uh, the task easier. That's great. And were you happy with the outcome of the R and D claim? Well, the so the, the claim's gone in, um, um, and I'm just waiting for the uh, for whatever I get back. So that is what um, I see. Yeah, exactly. So okay. you know, I'm I'm at the I'm at the uh, the beck and call of them at the moment. So it's just a, a question of of working out how long that's going to take. And of course, as we both know, that can take <laughs> quite a long know. time. Indeed, indeed. <laughs> so how how long did the claims process actually take? Well, it did take a bit longer than it should have done, to be honest. Um, and that's probably more of the fault than my my accountant so it took what nearly sort of five months in the end yeah. from the start it was about it was about july wasn't it yeah 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 it's it's challenging um, yeah. um and, and, and so of course i got it i i unfortunately missed the um the deadline for the new rules so the new rules came in and that complicated everything so Indeed. that delayed that delayed everything as well and and to be honest it was it was the fault of my accountant yeah and uh, so how has the experience of claiming r and d tax credits impacted your plans i mean will they will claims play a part in future funding yeah well i think it it very much depends on the on the mix of r and d in the company um, at the moment, we're, we're obviously involved in another R&D project. So I think going forward, certainly that will be in our plans to, to put in another, another claim. Um, but it, it very much depends on how that will go forward in the future. Um, uh, we are kind of an R&D type company, but it, it very much depends on how much R&D we will be doing. Um, for this particular project, that's, uh, that's going to be still rolling out till February 25. After that, we don't know at the moment, but there are lots of applications in at the moment. So it may be that there are other projects that carry on and we'll be doing more R&D in the future. So yeah. uh, yes, we hope to, certainly. That's great. And finally, how likely are you to recommend R&D tax to others? Definitely, yes, yes, definitely. I mean, it's, as I said before, it's, it, it, I wouldn't have known where to go. Um, the the communication I've had from from you, Richard, and uh, has been very good. Um, and I always seem to know what's going on. Um, I wish it was the same case with my accountant, <laughs> but uh, yes, it's been very good, and I certainly would recommend you. That's great. Well, thank you ever so much for taking time out to talk to us today, and uh, yeah, I look forward to working with you on the next one. And me too. Thank you very much.